Hey there, welcome back. They say one of the quickest ways to have your productivity plummet is to constantly be changing your task management app and your notes app and sometimes your calendar app, right? Just the tools that you use to be productive. If you're constantly looking for a better app or the quote unquote perfect app, you're never gonna find it. Uh, you're gonna end up wasting a bunch of time uh, migrating your stuff from app to app, trying to figure out how the new app works, trying to figure out the new workflow within that app. Meanwhile, off to the side, you're still looking for the perfect app because that new app isn't perfect either. So this constant pursuit of the holy grail of apps that's going to make us 100% productive all the time ends up being a waste of time, or so they say. Uh, and I've tried to limit myself on some of that. This channel is coming up on four and a half years now that I've been doing it. And so I've been using Tick Tick for at least four and a half years now. But I think even before that I was using it. Because I do believe that to some extent, uh, you will waste a lot of time moving from app to app. But with that said, I also think that there's an argument to be made that we should be looking to improve our processes. Maybe sometimes we should look to other apps or look to other people online to see how their, uh, how their workflow is. Uh, are there things that they're doing that maybe we could bring into our workflow to make us just a little more efficient? So I think there is an argument to be made to constantly improve our own processes uh, without wasting too much time. And so with that in mind, I've been tinkering a little bit with TickTick and you know, just trying to play with some things and see if I can't move things around, make things a little easier or reduce some friction or so forth. So one of the things that I came up with is kind of a new approach to the Kanban view. I don't know if it's necessarily a new approach, but it's an alternative setup to the Kanban view. So in this video, I want to take you through kind of my idea on what I wanted for the Kanban view, along with the uh, process that took me to get there because it was a bit of a journey. You know, I tried a couple different things in Tick Tick and I just want to take you through them because I think I learned a lot and I think it's worth sharing. So let's jump into Tick Tick and I'll show you. All right, so you can see here I have a normal list here. It's called My Tasks and I'm in the list view because by default uh, most lists are the list view, but I like the Kanban view. So in order to switch it to the Kanban view, you come up here to the three dots and there's the Kanban view. Is an option also over to the right is the timeline view so i'm going to go ahead and click the one in the middle to bring up kanban view now the kanban view is just a more visual way to see your list and you can create different sections which end up as different columns in your view so i'm going to go ahead and set up a few sections that will show up as columns all right so now i'm just going to randomly take this list of tasks and throw them into those columns All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and delete this not section column because I'm not gonna use that anymore. All right, and now if you're looking for more screen real estate because it's hard to see the entire Kanban view depending on how many columns you have set up, you can always come up here to the uh, icon that's just left of the list name and this will collapse the left navigation pane, give you a little more room. And the other thing you can do is you can come over here to the three dots, go to the view options, and Kanban size. Right now mine is medium. I'm just gonna switch this over to small and that makes our columns just a little bit smaller. And so now I can see things just a little bit better. So this was my idea. I was gonna have a column for tasks that were not started, tasks that were in progress, tasks that I plan to do today, and then tasks that I'm waiting on something or someone uh, to get back to me on. And one of the nice things about the Kanban view is you can very easily drag and drop things to different columns. So for example, if I have a task over here in the not started list and I'm gonna plan to work on that today, I would just drag and drop it over to the today column. Or if I'm working on something today and all of a sudden something comes up and now I'm waiting on somebody else to get back to me, I just drag that over to the waiting column. And so it's very easy to move things around as things happen. And that's part of the beauty of the Kanban view, I think. And so I kind of liked this setup, but then my thought was, you know, when I finally get done planning using the Kanban view and I want to really sit down and do some work, I want to just filter on those tasks that are marked as today. And so I was looking for a today view. Now, TickTick -tick offers a today view, 
if you come over here, there is a smart list called today, but this today view only looks at tasks that have a due date of today. Whereas in my Kanban view, I'm not necessarily using a due date. I'm just placing my tasks in the section called today. So I thought, well, maybe I can set up a filter that, that looks at that. So I came over here, hit the plus button, and let me just call this uh, my today view. Now I can filter on list and I can select my tasks, but otherwise there's no other criteria that allows me to filter based on the section of the list. So I can filter on date, priority, um, but nothing on the section. So if I just filter on the list, this filter is gonna bring in every single task that's in my tasks. And actually I can hit the preview down here and it will show me all the tasks that are in the list. So this didn't really help me. And if I cancel out of this and go over to the advanced section. So the advanced section also didn't provide any sort of criteria for sections of lists. You know, there's lists, date, priority, include, which is like a search on text. And then type is whether it's a task or a note. So no section of a list. All right, so that didn't work, but it got me thinking, is there a way that I could set up this Kanban view where I could have a today column in my Kanban view and also be able to set up a filter that only shows me those tasks that are in the today column. So my next thought was, well, maybe I could use tags because I know I can set up a Kanban view to be grouped by tags and I know I can filter on tags. So let me set that up. So the first thing I did was I came over here to the tag section and I created a tag for each column. Then I went back to my tasks and said, I want to group this by tag. And now none of these tasks have a tag on them right now. So let me just randomly put a tag on it so we can visually see what's going on here. All right, so here are my columns now, and this is grouped by tag, and, and this looks pretty good, um, but the one thing I noticed right away is that I don't like the order of my, of my columns. I really wanted the not started to be over on the left side and waiting to be over on the right side. So in order to change the order of the columns of your Kanban view, if you're using tags, you have to come over here to the left navigation pane and move the order that they're in over on the left navigation pane. So you'll see that waiting is first here in the tag list, and it's also first here in my Kanban view. But if I want this to be last, I just drag and drop it down to the last, and it moves to the end. And let me just move not started up to the top, and today down to the third, and okay. So now this is the order that I like it in. So this is pretty good, right? I have my different columns, and it's actually kind of colorful, which is, is cool. But now let me go set up my filter that just includes the tasks that are in the today column. So I come back to the filter, my today view, my list is going to be my tasks. And my tag is going to be today. And let me just go ahead and save this. And there we go. This is exactly what's in the today column in my Kanban view. So this was what I was after. All right, so let me just go back to my Kanban view. And let's say that I have a task in here that's not started and I want to move this to today. Let me just drag and drop this over here. Drag. You see this? Uh, <laughs> I can't drag and drop my tasks. So even though I can set up a filter using tags, it takes away some of the functionality that is good about having the Kanban view, right? I can't easily move my tasks around anymore. Uh, and I think I understand why, although it's unfortunate. Uh, and the reason why is because a task can have more than one tag. So for example, if I wanted to drag and drop this over to today, the system doesn't know if it should add the today tag in addition to not started, or if it should replace the not started tag. And so it just doesn't allow it. But this was also a roadblock for my vision of having a Kanban view with a today column that I could then also filter on. So I couldn't use sections and I couldn't use tags. 
So my next thought was, and this is the one that works, so this is kind of my alternative approach to the Kanban view coming up. Uh, my next thought was to use lists. So first thing I'm gonna do is go delete all those tags, and then I'm gonna set up a list for each of the columns. All right, so now I have a list for each of my columns that I want in my Kanban view. Uh, but it looks a little dull, actually. So let me go ahead and add an emoji to each of these lists to kind of brighten things up a little bit. All right, so now I have my lists, and they also look a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and move my tasks into those lists. All right, all my tasks are in those lists now. I'm going to go ahead and delete the My Task list. I don't need this list anymore. I'm using these other lists. But the question now is, well, how do I see these in a Kanban view? Well, the secret is to set up a folder. So there's a couple ways to set up a folder. One way is just to click on the edit of a list and come in here to the folder field. On the drop down is new folder. And we'll just type my tasks. And we'll also give this an emoji too. Okay, so now I have a folder called My Tasks, and under it is the waiting list. And I'm just going to drag my other lists under that folder as well. All right, so now all of my lists are within that folder. And if I click on the folder level, it brings up the list view, which actually looks pretty cool, in my opinion, because, you know, it clearly uh, delineates each list with their emoji. So... Like today is up here at the top and I can clearly see what I, I'm supposed to do today and I can see what's in progress. And so this view in itself kind of looks pretty good, but not exactly what I'm after. I'm after the Kanban view. So let's switch this by clicking the three dots and selecting Kanban view. And by default, it groups it by list. So again, my, my columns aren't in the right order. So I just need to come over here to the navigation pane and move these things around to where I want them. And you probably saw those columns move as I was dragging those lists around. So now my columns are in the right order. Let me first go make sure that I can filter on today, which I'm pretty sure that I can because it's just a list, right? So let me edit this filter. My list is marked as expired now because I've deleted the list that it was using. But let me select my new list, which is today. All right, and go ahead and click Save. And this works, right? So. All of the tasks that are in that today column, which is also a today list, come up here in my today view. So this is exactly what I wanted, but the real test is, can I still easily move things around in my Kanban view? So let me go back to my folder level here, and I can even collapse this if I don't wanna see all those lists. And let me click the folder level. Now let's say I have something that's not started and I wanna work on that today. I can move it around. I can move things to waiting. And so this was exactly what I was after. I'm able to still use the Kanban view as it's designed to easily move things around. And I can also, based on one of the columns in here, such as today, filter on that column and set up a, a filter and a view specific to that column. So again, I got to this by tinkering around in TickTick. -tick. And was that a waste of time? It might have been. Uh, I think after testing this for a couple of days, I've decided to go in a bit of a different direction than this. Even though this was exactly what I was after, I'm actually not going to use this. But in figuring it out, I did learn quite a bit uh, or was reminded of quite a bit of how TickTick -tick works and, and some of the functionality of TickTick. -tick. And I also think it might be worthwhile to share with you, which is why I'm making this video. Um, because just because it's not going to work for me doesn't mean it might not work for you. Going back to what I said at the beginning of the video, you know, it's, it's kind of nice to go out and look to see what other people are doing and look for ways to improve your own process. And so, you know, this may be something that you look into and you really love. So I thought it was worth sharing. Well, let me know in the comments, you know, do you use the Kanban view? And if so, do you use it with the sections as columns or do you have tags set up? And that's how your Kanban view is grouped. Or maybe you have lists in a folder like I just showed here. Let us know. 
Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.